are big cats like this, roaming the countryside. People say they've seen them from a distance, but Helen Scott had a very close encounter indeed. Yeah, you know, I was quite shaken. It was, it was scary, but also a very wonderful experience. Yes, they definitely exist. Helen from Stroud has never publicly told her story before. She was driving across Rodborough Common earlier this year. It was late at night. Suddenly a fox ran in front of her and she braked hard, coming to a standstill. What happened next left her shocked. The fox shot off and I was about to start off again and this big black cat was chasing the fox. It was a lot bigger than the fox, it was definitely a cat. And, you know, I was quite shaken. How do you know it wasn't a large dog? I know a difference between a dog and a cat. I've got two cats at home and it was a lot bigger than the fox as well. Um, if I was working on dog sizes, I'd say it was about the size of a, a German Shepherd. Um, you know, but it was definitely a cat. It was late at night, small hours of the morning. You've been very, very busy. You've been working really hard. Is there any chance that you in some way mistook what you saw for something else? Well, if it was something else, I have no idea what else it could be. Because Helen says she saw the animal so closely, she has something to compare it to for scale, the fox and her car. So Helen, I'm going to move back and I want you to tell me how far away it was from you. So there's my hand there, so how far back? It's about there. About here. Yep. Now I'm going to go into height. Okay. So... That's about the height of the creature. About there. So we're looking at that height and, yep. and we're looking at something almost with a tail as long as the front yep. of your car. Uh, at least along the front of okay, my car. Okay, so that's that's much bigger than a domestic cat. A lot bigger than a domestic cat. If it was a domestic cat, I wouldn't have seen it from this angle. Helen's case is being investigated by Frank Tunbridge from Gloucester. He's been busy putting out fixed cameras, which take pictures when movement is detected. Mostly it picks up shots of familiar wild animals, but he's hoping it'll get a definitive photograph of a big cat because it gives you more opportunity to, to come up with a, a decent photograph of these big cats, which we all know are out there. And also these cameras, obviously, you can't be everywhere at once. Um, if Even if you, like myself, go out at night and sometimes sit there in, in cover and remain still with a camcorder waiting for one to come out, they know you're there a lot of the time. Robinswood Hill in Gloucester is the headquarters of the Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust. The hill itself has in the past been claimed to be a haunt of big cats. The trust chief executive is sceptical. A big predator in the British countryside that's infrequently seen where there's very little evidence that it exists. I'm doubtful. I just don't absolutely, I'm not convinced. However, I've met people whose opinions I trust who claim that they have seen big cats. So it's one of those very strange stories that one sort of struggles to understand. Helen also used to be sceptical. Now you've seen one, uh, are you convinced they exist? Oh yes, they definitely exist. In the meantime, Frank is convinced that one day he'll silence the sceptics by getting a picture of a cat, like this one, living in the wild. Ken Goodwin in Gloucestershire, for the West Country Tonight.